Hello, Hans and Inclusion members and everyone. Here now is the revised version of the Russia Imperata for Protection Against the Coronavirus Disease 2019 Virus. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand. Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines that have been made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health and mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them, grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God, do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, help of the sea, pray for, pray for us. us. Saint Joseph, pray, pray for, for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray, pray for, for us. San Roque, pray, pray for, for us. us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for, pray for us. San Pedro Palonsod, pray for us. Pray for us. So our fellow HNI members and everyone, here now is the prayer for the protection for hands inclusion in age. God our Father, we implore you to us for the enlightenment and rescue, the repentant success of the organization, hands in inclusion in Indianas. We ask for the repentance of the group from the false judgments of other people, including its former members. Rescue us from all sense of power and deliver us from the lesson of revenge that comes from the death. Keep us in putting that first whatever is the religion of the reporting, including the Father, while being implicit to all those who are in need of inclusion, especially persons with disabilities, LGBTQI+, people confused with their gender, ethnic groups, and poorest of the poor who you also love. Help us to stop ourselves from manipulation of other people and resorting to unjust grudge, conspiracy, and violence which might affect the people you are trying to serve. We beg for its founder and his core team to be enlightened to see the lies behind the false doctrines and impure and violent motives of the false accusations we make and believe, and open the eyes to the truth of the pride that we hold. Help us humble ourselves, O Lord. Help us to realize that fear and envy, anger, anger and, forgiveness and forgiveness comes from Satan. Satan. And he may he stop whatever pride that he is holding. Please allow us to know ourselves a child, a of, child God. of God. 
We also pray we for those people, for people who are blamed who are by hands and hands and inclusion by the penis. To repent from the so sins, we are guilty of the dark disorder. Of blaming any false accusations made by either the enemy, any enemy they encountered. Forgive us for our and accusations and for all the wrong things, wrong things in your eyes, in your eyes the organization, organization did. This we ask in your name. Amen. Our Lady, help of the saints, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. Saint Pedro Alonso. Pray, pray for us. Saint Blair of Montefalco. Pray for, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist. Pray, pray for, for us. us. Our Lady, help of all Christians. Intercede for us. Saint Monica. Pray for us. Pray for us in our family, our family and, friends. and friends. Saint Augustine. Pray for us pray in our family, family and friends. Saint Michael the Archangel. Saint Benedict. Pope St. Peace the Dead and Pope St. John Paul the Second, rescue us from our unintended wrongdoings. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy and change the heart of everyone. All organizations and all the people who family work for the organization who made terrible mistakes, and those the people who took part in the conspiracy to falsely accuse anyone and hands in the Amen. Amen. The, the woods infected the body to do COVID 19. This is. Ang mga pananawat o opinion ng pag-uulat na mag sa programang ito ay hindi ang pangunahing posisyon na pahayag ng pamunuan ng organisasyong ito. The views and opinions expressed in this live report are those of the presenter and do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of the management of this organization. Uh. So our topic for today's The Inclusive Report is something that is also timely and I'm not sure if kahit yung mga nag-work from home may experience pang ganito. It's called The Effects of Workplace Bullying. I am your presenter for today, Billy Sent Makuse. And before we begin this, let's share our Bible verse for today. If you keep my commands, you will re remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commands and remain in his love. John 15, 10. So as we promote these commercials, Meron po tayong bago promotional commercial for the H&I Editorial. Shut up. Shut up. 
So let's start with bakit tayo nagiging bully bully targets sa workplace. Some of us probably start each week with a bit of anxiety in your stomach. Though I haven't had experience in the workplace na formally. Baga I'm working from home lang, I still experience this. Then you count down the days until the weekend or next vacation. The following are considered inappropriate behaviors by adult bullies. They berate people. They exclude others, baga, the erasure of others. They make snide remarks. They steal credit, maraming ganito. And they also threaten others for at meron ding unfair criticism. The effects of workplace bullying don't end when you leave the office. Siyempre, may mga health risks din ito. Being a victim of bullying can cause physical and psychological health problems such as the following. It can cause anxiety, higher blood pressure, panic attacks, stress, trouble sleeping. Yes, mga napubuli, nahihirapan talaga sila matulog because... What had they done to make them feel bullied? Bakit may mga insecure people ginaganon pa rin sila? Also, they might have ulcers. Plus, there will be also an effect on job performance. If there are employees na nabubuli, they can perform their jobs to the best of their ability. The following naman yung mga sinasabi nating performance issues. They will have an incapacity to work or concentrate. Mawawalan din sila ng self-esteem. Third, they will also have trouble making decisions. And lastly, mababawasan sila ng productivity. When workers get bullied, they not only lose motivation, but also time because they are preoccupied with these. First, they are trying to defend themselves, tapos umiwas din sila sa mga bullies. And then they turn to networking for support and they are ruminating about the situation. Lastly, they have plans here and there. How are they going to deal with that situation? Uh, I think nagahang ito. Ayan. What's more, targets of bullying feel a sense of isolation. Ganoon katindi ang workplace bullying so much that it can leave the victim so traumatized that they feel powerless, disoriented, confused, and helpless.
So there is also clinical research on bullying in the workplace. Because this problem is already prevalent, makakahanap at makakahanap tayo ng clinical studies on this subject. Research on bullying in the workplace quantifies the personal consequences for the victim and fiscal consequences that affect the company's bottom line. There are findings by University of Manitoba Research that state that workplace bullying may inflict more harms on employees cases of sexual harassment. It's because we have already discussed what they might be dealing with dahil may mga bullies pa rin silang kinaharapan. There is also a finding by researchers at the University of Helsinki in Finland, Department of Public Health, that indicate that meron, di, meron ding suffering naranasan ang mga non-target co-workers. These results show that victims of bullying and those who witness it are more likely to receive a prescription for psychotropic medications such as antidepressants, tranquilizers, and sleeping pills. Baga gusto lang nilang tulugan yung bullying sa kanila sa workplace. Also, there will be effects on the employers of bullies. Merong ding hindi magandang effect ang workplace bullying sa mga employers, not just the victims and their co-workers who witness it. In addition to disrupting the work environment and impacting worker morale, ganito yun ang mga mangyayari. Makakabawas ito sa productivity, it will create a hostile work environment, and it will promote absenteeism. In that sense, mas gusto ng bully worker na mag-absent na lang instead of dealing with the bully every day. There will, there will also be an impact on the workers' compensation claims. At minsan, meron pang legal issues na nakakahiya na at mahal pa. It will result in costly and possibly embarrassing legal issues. The other costly effects on the employers are the following. Magkakaroon ng dagdag na costs to recruit and train new employees. There will be an erosion of employee loyalty and commitment. Madadagdagan ang sick leave, healthcare claims, and staff turnover. There will be an increased, increased risk of legal action. And there will be poor public image and negative publicity. So, paano magla-respond ang mga employers? It's always in your best interest to confront workplace bullying and maintain a bullying-free workplace because prevention is more cost-effective than intervention or meditation. Mediation, I mean. Eh. Ito yun ang tama na gawin if the employers really care about their employees. There should also be education opportunities for managers supervisors, and other authority figures. Why is this important? Because the majority of workplace bullying comes from bullying bosses, especially if the employees who are bullied happen to be people with disability, whether neurological or physical disability. They can't escape it. They don't just deal with discrimination or Yung form of bullying that they experience might be a case of discrimination. Right? And before we wrap up and go to our announcements, employers should also strive to create a workplace that cultivates teamwork, cooperation, and positive interaction instead. Kumbaga, there should be empathy for those who are bullied and they should be felt that they are appreciated for their work. At they, there should be an environment that make everyone feel na mahal nila yung trabaho nila. They are motivated to do better in their work every day. So now let's head over to our 
hands in inclusion merchandise these are available at our online shop first off there is these stickers for hands in inclusion our re include our yes sticker costs 250 pesos this is made in commemoration of the 500th year of christianity in the philippines meron din po tayong iniibig ko mga pinoy pwds tig 150 pesos lang po ito comes in the colors red white blue and yellow we also have hands in inclusion tote bags na pwede yung dalhin while buying essentials and everything else sa mall or sa palengke it comes in sizes small medium and large 220 for small 240 pesos for medium and 260 pesos for large kung gusto nyo may text at the back you may add 50 pesos we also have one inclusion nation t-shirts these are made and released in commemoration of the fourth anniversary of our hands in inclusion it comes in sizes extra small to double extra large and in the colors red blue yellow white and black so for extra small it costs 400 pesos small costs 410 pesos medium 420 pesos large 430 pesos extra large 440 pesos and double extra large is 450 pesos paano po mode of payment for our inclusion merchandise sa pamamagitan lang po ito ng gcash or paymaya sa numerong 0917-701-9684 you can also donate your desired amount in that number through GCash or Paymaya, which I will repeat 0917-701-9684. If your desired mode of payment is through Palawan Pawn Shop or Cebuana, you may simply send a message sa Hands in Inclusion Filipinas. So for our delivery method, Kung kayo ay nasa NCR Bulacan, Pampanga, Cavite, Laguna at Rizal, the delivery is via Tok Tok or Grab or Lala Move or Mr. Speedy Philippines and Go Go. Samantala, kung kayo ay nasa labas ng NCR or Bulacan or Pampanga or Cavite or Laguna or Rizal, the delivery is via LBC. Alimbawa, if you ordered something from our online shop and you happen to live in Pampanga, or in, I mean outside Pampanga, which let's say Nueva Ecija, the delivery will be via LBC. Anyways, ang ating hands in inclusion ay naghahanap pa rin sa volunteer researchers, volunteer captioners, at volunteer YouTube uploaders. Ano -ano ang mga qualification? First, you must be willing to work as a volunteer. You should have a laptop or desktop, tsaka malakas dapat ang internet connection. Dapat meron ding commitment sa work. You should have a good attitude and character. And most of all, dapat may meron ka college degree. You may send your resume at handsin.inclusion at gmail.com. And for our Best Buddies Philippines events, particularly for those who follow Best Buddies on Facebook, ito po yung mga events na huwag na natin palag palampasin. Ngayong June 12, there will be Greens and Pots with Louise and Gabriel. Wellness Wednesday naman ngayong June 16. June 19, Chico's Coffee Coolers with Chico, Selena, Grace, and Ali. Tsaka sa June 26, Come Craft with SM Cares. And paano po ninyo sundan ang aming social media platforms? Simple lang. 
mag-iwan kayo ng like sa aming Hands in Inclusion PH, Inclu Gaming, at Inclu Radio PH Facebook pages. Sundan nyo lang kami sa Instagram at WordPress, Hands in Inclusion PH, all lowercase. And you can also follow us on Gumu, Hands H&I Philippines. Small letters din po lahat. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Hands in Inclusion Pilipinas, and tap the notification bell for more updates. So, in a few, we are going to greet somebody. At salamat din po sa mga nag-view. I know that some of you can relate with what I shared sa ating uh, workplace bullying. What is my takeaway sa work is bullying? One thing is, Yan yung worry ng parents ko that I would still be bullied in the workplace, but the reasons behind it are beyond my comfort level to explain. But I think hindi lang naman ni mga mga PWD sa may ganito. Even some neurotypicals also experience workplace bullying. However, wag po natin tong gawing excuse na i-tolerate nyo lang. If you think na may mga office mates kayong binubuli kayo for whatever reason, you should quickly report it to your boss na pwede pa yung maiprevent. Wag, na, wag nang idaan sa kailangan pang solusyonan, mag-intervene, mag yung mga boss nyo, yung manager ninyo, or anyone at the HR para matigil ang bullying. It should be prevented as soon as possible. Whether nasa private kayo or government, hindi dapat yan i-tolerate. Anyway, I, I'd like to Head over now to the greetings portion of this The Inclusive Report. I think it's over here. Yeah. First off, ang gusto kong batiin. Let's start with my Facebook friend, Roy Sagrado. I know you're watching sa either Facebook Live or YouTube replay. Hope you're doing well, Bryce. And also, gusto ko rin batiin ang aking songwriter friend. Parawian on Twitter and Instagram. It's Robbie Perenya. He composed songs like Para sa Tabe by Vibe and PH. And I hope you're doing fine as well. And yung last kong babatiin is one of my friends sa province pa. This is my belated Happy National Best Friends Day greeting to you, Nico. Ingat ka sa travels mo, sa adventures mo, and I hope you're doing well din sa iyong work. So now na we're almost done with this inclusive report, the effects of workplace bullying. We hope na you have learned a lot in this episode, lalo na sa how we can prevent this or why do some of us have to deal with this. Huwag tayong papadala sa pressure or don't let bullies take the better of us. And if some of you here happen to be a former bully, kahit simpleng sorry lang, matatanggap na ng mga, mga office mates niyo that you happen to have bullied previously because they'll forgive you pa rin eh. Basta you are sincere with your actions and you promise to help them do better and make 
it a more inclusive and more dynamic workplace, it will all be fine. You shouldn't let this escalate in a way na makakarating sa HR or sa mga boss ninyo na there might be something legal act- legal kind of actions na kailangan pang i-take of either party para lang matigil to. Whatever insecurities that the bully might be feeling against, other people must be addressed as well. So that's my takeaway on this workplace bullying topic for our inclusive report. So we just wrap this up. And if you have comments on how you dealt with this, or kung kayo ay dating bully and you've learned na mali ang ginagawa niyo with your office mates, just comment down below on our Facebook Live or pwede rin sa YouTube replay comment. Again, thank you po sa panonood and once you have subscribed to our YouTube channel, please tap the notification bell. And this has been Vincent Makuse for the Inclusive Report, June 9, 2021. With our topic, the effects of workplace bullying. I know one day it's still a long way to go, but I'm hoping na we get to work in an environment where there should be no bullying allowed nor tolerated, at least. And everyone should be inclusive for PWDs who are deserving to be productive as well. At niniwala din kami dito sa hands in inclusion that it should be a God first and truth first inclusion. And we will always include our yes. At siyempre, here at H&I, let's always put God first. Thank you and have a wonderful afternoon, everyone. Bye-bye.